Well, hello guys and girls and everyone in YouTube land. Yes, that was a very random intro. Anyway, it's 20 past 11. I've just put the bloody phone down so my ear is a little bit hot and sweaty now. So I've been on the blower for about 25 minutes. Anyway, I've taken that last power supply apart, or at least take my circuit boards out. Because one thing that caught my eye is that because it's about the same size physically as that red one in my player but I couldn't see what the rating was it's a Nippon Chemicon as well oh that's going to be far too small plenty of voltage 450 volt but only a 220 puff that ain't the good I might actually um, just have that off of there anyway I'll give them two solder joints this big ass cap beside it's got three connections. There's another two there. I know they've got three connections. Yeah, I might just go through and see what I can salvage. And uh, here, <laughs> that's the power supply from that PC. No, it didn't just spontaneously die, and no, it hasn't died, thankfully. Although I am very fucking surprised that it hasn't, but I had an accident, as you know, or may or may not know, this desk doubles up as my dinner table, so I often have my meal there and a drink beside me. Well, I was just having a bit of a clean up, and I was going to pull all this desk out and clean up behind it and whatnot. That drink was on the table where it always is, about that full. What do I do? I knock the fucking glass over. For about the third time this year, and it just, every time the glass has just gone that way towards the computer. And I did yank the PC forwards, but um, it wasn't quick enough. And uh, it seems like some cola had dripped through the top vents in the top of the case and down onto the power supply, which in turn had seeped through one of these. I'm not sure which one. So um, I took it out and I've put the power supply from this computer, which is my Windows 7 that sits down there, stuck it in that one just so I can use the computer. And it's actually working really well. It's only a 500 watt supply, but I think this one's a 700, 750, 750. Um, and it did this. What it was doing, I was, had the power in and. Uh, Every time I unplugged the cable, put the power cable back in, and turned the PC on, all the lights would just flash and then they'd go straight off. It just wouldn't power up. It's just automat automatically shutting off. So and what I did, took this out, as you can see, swapped it, undone the cover, undone the screws from this board, took my little air compressor to it and blew out all the dust and crap and uh, just let it sit here for about an hour, you know, to dry out. Plugged it back in, Oof, and away it went. But uh, I couldn't be bothered to put it straight back in tonight, so I'll do that tomorrow. Once I give it a test run, I'll um, let this computer sit on for a little while with this plugged back in as well. Oh, pardon me. And um, make sure it is working properly. Then I'll stuff it back in there. <laughs> also took the air compressor to my computer while I had the side cover off. Figured I might as well, you know, because uh, it's off. It wasn't that dusty in there, but there was enough. Usually I use a little um, paintbrush, but that can only get so much off. So, uh, yeah, I just took... Actually, I find a brush does clean up the fans better. Uh, well, that compressor's not... The Mo not the uh, most powerful thing on the planet because it is only meant for airbrushing, spraying, you know, for modelling. Not super models. You know, when you're building model trains or dolls' houses, whatever, that sort of modelling. <laughs> You'd be there all day airbrushing a supermodel with that bloody thing. Anyway. I just had a nice uh, clean out. My puncture is fixed, and that wheel's back in the bike. And uh, 
I re-greased the wheel bearings as well because when I took the wheel out and got it up here, I spun the axle and that was very... I don't know how to describe it, sort of, it just felt sort of crunchy and stiff and horrible. So I just undone the bearing cone, stuffed a bit of grease in there, done it all back up and... Anyway, um, spins a lot better. Probably be a lot easier to ride now because there'll be um, a lot less friction. Right. Camera. I keep forgetting I've got to take that camera to bits. Basically, I just want that transformer, that camera, and the circuit boards off of it. I'm not fussed about the motors or anything. Bit windy. Yeah, so. I was actually ticked off. I actually wanted to punch something. I was that ticked off at myself for knocking that cola over again. That's why it's on the other desk at the moment. One, if it does get knocked over, it's not going to go anywhere near my PC. <laughs> just a printer which isn't even turned on. In fact, no, that'll miss the printer. I'll just go straight down the back and on at the floor. Um, yeah, I just think it's better to keep it on that table. I've got all my models out on this table because uh, I was going to get... Um, or start to sort this out, but it's getting late now. You know, it's nearly 11:30 at night, and I've got to pull all that off, put down one of them new boards that I've got in the hallway, which you can't see, but they are sort of there in the picture. <clears throat> it's amazing. I don't know if it's just my screen. Oh, you might just be able to see them. Yeah, you can just. Anyway, <laughs> I'll have to. Uh, I mean, look, that's how far that is leaning. It should be there. Actually, to sit level, it would be there, roughly. <laughs> it's uh, leaning qu forwards quite a lot, and it's obviously left. Rather large. I think the wood might have actually got squished under the weight from the sound of that. Oh, well. I'll sort that tomorrow. I'll finish sorting that out tomorrow. <laughs> Completely disconnect. I've even disconnected the power for that CD drive on my computer. I was actually hit it the other day, and even though I don't have the uh, SATA data cable connected, it's still blue screened on me just because I hit the um, eject button. I don't know how the fuck it managed to do that. You know, it's only connected to the power supply. It's not connected to the friggin' motherboard or anything. <sighs> not unless there's something else that did it. But it's not going to work now. There's no power. I don't use that one anyway. I use the external one. I gave up trying to get that one to work. It's not like when I don't use CD drives that often. So I figured, you know, I might as well just keep with using that external one. Huh? Huh. Someone com commented on a post in a full sale group and it's now been removed. Couldn't see what the post was. Sometimes you can see the little picture when you look at your notifications. Right, well, apart from finishing off that cabinet over there, I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing tomorrow. Uh, someone did uh, inquire about the um, record player this morning, but I replied back and not heard back since, so. Either they just have forgotten about it and not checked their emails, or didn't get my reply, or found something else closer. Not a clue. Anyway, I'm going to shut the camera down because I need to go and use the toilet anyway. Again, I put the camera on, didn't I? I don't know, it's just, it seems like my guts and this camera have got a thing going, you know, always got the camera on. We're going to make him go. 
make him so he needs the bathroom just to piss him off. Anyway, I need to pee as well, so thanks a lot for watching, and uh, I'll talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.